Welcome everyone and thanks for tuning in to part one of quarter scale top fuel hydro drag boat featuring the Conley Stinger 609 engine. Um, I just want to take a moment and uh, pan over here across this table of parts and I'm going to head over here to the first thing I want to show you which is the model that we're building it after. We're actually going to build a model of the current uh, mile per hour and ET record holder problem child top fuel hydro drag boat and that's what we're modeling this after. Um, I'm going to come over here real quickly and show off the 18th scale version of this boat. Um, basically this is the 1 18th scale um, version of the uh, uh, top fuel hydro drag boat problem child. Um, our quarter scale version will look just like this in every detail down to the smallest of details. Um, this boat is um, very accurate um, representation at, at 1 18th scale of the real boat so we're using it as our focal point on how to build our quarter scale. So anyway as we come down here I'm going to just show off a couple things like I said our boat will be detailed in every way just like this one right down to a removable uh, fairing off the back of the capsule it will have a removable capsule just like this boat here. It will have a flip top canopy and there will be gas struts to hold the canopy open when the canopy is open. Um, the inside of the uh, 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 capsule will have a roll cage just like the real boat down, down to seat and seat belts, steering wheel. Um, Every detail it, it, we could possibly duplicate will be on the quarter scale boat, um, right down to dual functional parachutes. Yes, I said parachutes. The two parachutes will be functional on our quarter scale version. Um, the boat is going to be powered by a Fataba six channel uh, radio, and we're going to be using a total of five waterproof servos um, for this boat project. Um, the first servo will be for ignition, number two will be for start, number three will be for throttle four is for rudder and number five will be for the parachute release. So five uh, waterproof servos on this project. Um, it's going to have a 24 ounce uh, water tank and a 24 ounce um, uh, oil tank, oil and water tanks on this thing mounted up in there, the front sponsons on the boat. Um, also on this boat um, we are going to have uh, a very detailed and functional trailer. Um, the trailer on this boat that we're building uh, is going to look very similar to this trailer, almost exactly. Um, the, tr the springs on this trailer are going to be three spring leaf packs with CNC uh, machined aluminum parts, U-bolts, um, billet aluminum wheels, and uh, here's a little mock-up piece that we built um, for our trailer just so we get mounting locations correct for the real trailer when we build it. So there's a little mock-up piece there and it will have shocks on it as well. Um, on the, I'm going to show off the running gear that we're using on our boat. Um, the running gear is going to be as follows. It's going to have uh, two V-drives, dual V-drive system with a transfer case. Um, the transfer case will be powered by the Conley Stinger 609 engine. The incoming power will come through there into the uh, transfer case, then divided into the two V-drives. One V-drive will turn right, one will turn left uh, for counter-rotating props. And uh, also, um, basically we have the two uh, props, they're both right and left, and they are 50 millimeter props. And also going to have a uh, CNC uh, rudder assembly for the rear. Um, it's got to have a 12 ounce fuel cell in the back. Um, it's got aluminum stringers in the boat. We had to cut out the initial original stringers that came with the boat hull. We had to remove those because we have to make this thing mount for the Conley engine. So basically this is the, the new layout that will be uh, hand laid and fiberglassed into place inside the hull of the boat here shortly. Um, on the back of our capsule, I'm just going to come back to this really quickly here. I'm going to pan over here. Um, on the back side of the capsule, um, basically in this location here, across the back, um, we're going to have a digital tachometer and temperature gauge on our boat. And so there's the digital uh, tachometer, and then there's a digital temperature gauge, and there'll be a little window in the back side of the capsule there, so we can view those while we're running the engine and the boat on the stand. Uh, keep track of water and RPM. Um, also, like I said, on this project, this boat will have functional parachutes. Um, here's a pattern for the bag for the parachute. Parachute bag will be black. The chutes are going to be in red and white. Um, uh, the other thing we've got going on here, I'm going to show you some pictures. We didn't have time to do a video while we had possession of the Conley engine. So what we did was I just took some photographs and I blew these up for you so I could share these with you. And basically there's a, a shot of there of the kind of looking down on the boat. 
Um, here's another shot of showing the running hardware, uh, back of the bell housing of the transmission coming into the uh, transfer case, into the V-drives. Um, here's another shot down here of the engine, kind of at an angle forward to the back. Um, great shot there. Um, this boat is just going to look absolutely amazing when it is completed. Uh, this boat is nothing short of amazing. Uh, when it's done, um, this thing is going to be a great representation of the problem child top fuel hydro drag boat. Um, I'm going to go back up here and show off a little bit of the boat hull here. Um, the boat's going to have to go through lots of changes in order to make it accurate. Um, I got this tape going across here to show how far that the um, fiberglass, we need to finish it off up to this point here um, to make it accurate like the real boat. Um, the current uh, fairing and canopy and capsule and everything, um, it all needs to be refiberglassed back into the hull of the boat and then the appropriate uh, locations of cutting it out and the appropriate shapes um, necessary to make it a, a, an accurate representation of what the real boat actually looks like. Um, but as far as uh, the beam, the width, the length, everything else on the boat is correct. Um, just capsule and fairing and uh, the back of the boat. And there's just some changes that need to be made in order to make this boat a completely accurate representation. Um, once again, uh, I just want to thank everybody for tuning in and uh, looking at the latest project here that we're coming up with. Um, this thing uh, should be uh, hopefully finished by end of August. Um, our engine, the actual running engine that will go into this boat, is supposed to be here by the end of July, 1st of August, which gives us plenty of time to get this project uh, pretty well buttoned up. Um, the plan is to actually have this boat at the World Finals in Phoenix, to actually have in the pit area with uh, the uh, Problem Child top fuel hydro drag boat for that weekend, uh, which is actually the last weekend of um, uh, October and the first weekend of November. So uh, anyway, uh, this is our project, and I'm looking forward to hearing from you all and getting your comments. And um, like I said, tune in uh, for part two. Part two is going to be based on the trailer um, for this boat, so we have something to set the boat on while we're building it. And uh, once again, thanks again for tuning in, and we look forward to hearing your comments shortly. See ya.